Hey everybody, it's Melissa and we gotta talk compliments today, all right? Because I've been wearing a couple fragrances that have just been getting me compliments this whole entire week. In fact, I was thinking about doing a new segment where I talk about my most complimented fragrance of the week, but I feel like that's gonna get stale just because y'all know me when I like a scent that is basically all I wear. There's basically three fragrances in my rotation that I was using nonstop for like the past like year or so, or maybe no, Dior Om came in a bit later, but y'all are gonna get tired of that video because it's gonna be nothing new, right? So I, I advised against it, but I definitely wanted to make this video because like, it's been crazy. July has been a crazy month in terms of like the fragrances that I've been trying and the reactions that I've been getting. So first and foremost, I have to show you Elysium and this is not one of the two that I'm talking about here, but just look at how much juice I have left of this, all right? If you're an OG to my channel, then you know when I got this fragrance maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago, I have just not shut up about it. I have just always talked about it. Even if people dog on it and say that the performance is ass, I don't care. Like, I love the scent. I love when I wear it. I feel great. And people around me love it. And I was worried because when they came out with Elysium Intense, I was like, okay, now I'm gonna have to, I don't have to worry about re-upping on my OG bottle of Elysium because the Intense is probably gonna be a banger. Turns out I didn't really like the Intense. So I was thinking to myself, damn, I only have this much juice left of Elysium. I'm probably gonna finish it by the end of summer or maybe even the fall time and I have to get a new one. But that all changed this week, all right? So Elysium, actually has not been pulled for for the past week and that's the longest i've been without using this fragrance for one day because this scent is just sometimes i'll try a new fragrance one to two days and if it like usually at that two day mark that's already like a long time um but elysium salt and pepper dior Homme, those are just like my that's my trifecta or it was my trifecta those were just the three that i was using non-stop dior om for nighttime salt and pepper and elysium for the daytime but i definitely use elysium more than i use salt and pepper but this week was a game changer for me all right so i'm going to show you two fragrances here and these are from precious 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 liquid but they haven't been released all right and this is not a sponsored video i mean how there's no way to sponsor it if you guys can't even get it in the first place. But I just, I have to, like, I wanted to just document this on my channel. Because it's like, this fragrance right here, Aqua Oud, is my shit. Like, I really, really love this fragrance, okay? Because when I saw the Oud, when I saw the Oud in the name, I was like, dang it. Probably not going to be something I enjoy because, I mean, the bottle, I mean, the juice looks great but it has oud in it, let's see. But now this is a long lasting, fresh fragrance. I don't even know the notes of this scent, but I've been blown away at how well this is doing in the high heat because we all know what happens with freshies in the high heat or even just fresh fragrances in general. We're talking longevity of four to five hours on average, right? There's some where people think that Elysium lasts like 30 minutes on their skin, an hour on their skin, an hour and a half, right? And that is definitely poor performance for the type of dollar that you're going to be paying for this scent. Luckily enough for me, I do get good longevity with this fragrance on my skin, but that's just not the case for everybody. But this one right here, on skin alone, so long lasting. I actually don't apply this fragrance on my clothes. What I do is, y'all have seen my like, my routine where I do one behind each ear, the back of my neck, the back of my shoulder blades. But lately, I've only been doing this, the three up here, so like behind each ear and the back of my neck. I don't spray it on my hair. And then I'll come in with Blue Agave. All right, so this is also like a, a newer Blue Agave. If you guys haven't seen my video where I was, where I tried these fragrances, you can go watch that on my channel um, where I like unbox them and, or no, not the unboxing video. I made a video the day after or two days after I tried these and let them sit and was telling you my opinions of the fragrances and the dry downs of them. But this version of Blue Agave does not play. Now, the original one, I think it's like the bottle's probably this big or something. They put it or they're putting it into the limited collection line as well. So 
This one is like, if you're having performance issues with Blue Agave, if that's the one thing setting you back, then this has fixed your issues with it because this thing performs and it's been hot here, y'all. And I could still smell Blue Agave on me at the end of the night. So both of these scents, but between these two, this is the one I would rock solo. Like Blue Agave is great. Um, I did end up giving my other bottle, or no, somebody bought it from me. When <laughs> Like I, I had this guy, my cousin's boyfriend came in. He's like, I'm looking for a new fragrance. And then I was like, smell this one, Blue Agave. And he's like, oh, this is great. And then he just hands me like this wad of cash. And I was like, you know what? All right, if you like it, I'm happy about that. But this, I mean, I could wear it by itself, but this is the one that calls me. Like this one is unique. So this past week, I've been going out a lot. And specifically, when I talk about compliments right now in this video, I'm mainly talking about compliments from women. From the age range, I would say, probably late 20s, early 30s. Like those are the type of women that I've been around and they have been loving this fragrance. Like the hugs that I've been giving have been just lasting for such a long time. I told y'all about the pho story or I don't know if you watched that video or not, but when I went to pick up pho, the lady at the, the cashier was like closing her eyes and she's like, oh, you smell so good. And she kept like doing this and like wafting it towards her. But the thing is, I didn't know if she really liked it at first because she's like, oh, I have a sensitive nose. And I was like, oh, do you want me to like back away? I understand because it's a pretty strong fragrance. And she's like, no, I really like this. And she was just like wafting it, asking what it was. But like I've said, when it comes to niche fragrances, you don't really have to worry about gatekeeping, y'all, because people can't really, they don't know how to access niche fragrances. They're thinking just retail stores. And a lot of the times, Retail stores just carry designer, unless you're at Bloomingdale's or Nordstrom. What's the other one? Neiman Marcus. But again, these have yet to be released. But summer bangers, a thousand percent. And somebody said that they're like, oh, she's probably going to layer Elysium and Aqua Oud. I mean, I could, but I just, I like this the way it is. In fact, I'm about to go work out right now. And I will throw it on because I knew that this is going to be my scent of the day when I come back and then shower because I'm going out again later. Um, but I will spray it on right now because it does like this thing smells so good. Like when you're getting a little bit sweaty, you know what I'm saying? And what I like is that this could be a nighttime fragrance as well. This is a like and it's so to me, like that is something that I haven't had in a while. Right. Like I love Elysium love salt and pepper and yes you can wear these at nighttime if you want to but they're not gonna carry as well they just perform they perform a lot better to me in the daytime especially this one when the heat is just blasting but what i like about aqua oud is the fact that i've been able to throw it on at daytime i've been able to throw it on before i go out at night and the performance has been stellar if i didn't put a number to it already definitely longevity of over eight hours and it has projection of about like an arm's length to an arm's length and a half. Like that is, it, it's noticeable in, in that sort of way. And it has a very nice scent trail as well. Now, if I was somebody that liked to apply fragrances on my hair, I absolutely would because this would, this would catch. Like this would just stick on your hair and the smell of it is just so good. But I am kind of worried about, you know, I use fragrances a lot and I just don't want to dry out my hair. So that's just me. That's just me, all right? But overall, these two have been bangers, more so this one. Um, this has just kind of been like a supporting cast member with my scent bubble. You know, like a hint of it is definitely there, but I think I, when I stepped out last night, I did, I think I did six sprays of this and then three sprays of this. This behind each ear, the back of my neck. The sixth spray on this, I just put like in the front of my shirt just in case, just to make sure everything was going. I'm like, you know what, let's just see how this is. And the thing is, I didn't get nauseous. I didn't feel sick or anything because I had to, we were driving for maybe less than an hour. And that's the thing, when you wear strong fragrances, you're kind of like, dang, I do, I do want to wear this and I want people to smell it by the time I get to the event. But like, what if I'm in the car and like everyone's kind of getting like migraines because the fragrance is too strong, right? So that was a bit of a worry, but 
me and the people with me in the car like weren't even phased. Honestly, I I, got, I went nose blind to the fragrance. I couldn't really pick up on it until I got there. I got to the event and I was hugging people and they're like, oh my God, you smell amazing. That's so good. What is this? So they were absolutely loving it, but I just had to make this video for y'all because freaking bangers, bro. And somebody asked me in the comment section, they're like, do you like that better than salt and pepper? I will say <clears throat> the answer, I know it's, it's a bit early, I am going to say yes, just because salt and pepper is a fantastic fragrance, but it definitely goes more on the masculine side. And sometimes, like, I don't want, just, like, I would layer salt and pepper and Elysium to kind of have a little bit of that balance. But if I did want more of a masculine fragrance, I would use salt and pepper. But this one, I feel like just fits me better. Like, there's a liveliness to this fragrance, but there's also, like, a sexiness to it and a curiosity to it when people smell it. Like, oh, wow. Like, because you don't expect like an oud scent to be fresh and you don't expect it to get that sort of reaction from the general public from people that are not into fragrances but this so it plays to its strengths very very well so i really like this fragrance and if i were to give you my trifecta right now oh actually i haven't been using elysium i've only really been using this with a little bit of like a sprinkling of blue agave but mainly this scent right here i still do love dior om but i've been even using this at nighttime too so we'll see how it goes i'll let you know how it is i'll step out tonight and i don't know post an update video on instagram or maybe do an update video tomorrow to see how that is but again i don't want to make it stale i don't want to just be talking about like aqua oud elysium dior om in terms of compliment factor but if y'all want me to keep it real i can all right anyways i hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.